Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone today? So today we are going to be putting on the embellishments to um, my Ode to Markiplier paintings. Now, as you can see, and I have something really funny to tell you in a minute, I made the decision that this painting that I made yesterday really I, I put it on there just to test it once it was like dry just to see how it would look on there and ooh, I have a little glue there excuse me uh, the answer to that question was I really didn't like it I actually hated it I hated that painting on top of here it just ugh, it just didn't go well together I thought it would um, you know because I'm going to be doing the mustache today with the uh, stencil here. And the mustache is pink, as you can see. Wilfred Warstache's uh, mustache is pink. And I thought it would pick up the color in here, but I just didn't like the way um, it looked. Maybe because this is like a really like thick, you know, like wider canvas, thicker canvas. Um, by the way, this dried beautifully. The colors are gorgeous. It's beautiful. This came out beautiful on its own. So what I just made the decision is to keep them as two separate paintings. I just thought it looked ridiculous. I just didn't like it. So what I did do was, to keep it in the space theme, I went back to my original idea of using this wood piece here I got from my Primal Flow. Um, one, I think it was the intro kit, okay? Yeah, it was. And I think they sell these individually for like $1.50. I'm sure you can probably find them a little cheaper. And then I made these gabachons um, specifically for to use in this painting. So, sorry, it's a little string of uh, hot glue. Um, and I can just become, come right off. All right, I'll fix that later. Anyway, so this painting came out beautiful on its own. And I actually like this. You know, I like that it really looked like a planet to me. Uh, not meaning to look like a planet. That's just how that particular painting came out. And then I did make these gabachons specifically for this project and whether I was going to use it or not, I was going to make a decision. So I kind of made the decision. So I kind of like this, that these are like kind of little smaller planets or something like that around the huge one. I just think for me personally, that's my artistic decision that um, this looks so much better. And I think it's because this is a wood, like a wood cutout, and it's not so like 3D, whereas that, it just, I don't know, there was something about it, I wasn't feeling it, so I changed my mind. So I'm leaving this as its own piece, and I think that's going to be enough, because putting that on top of here and adding all this stuff, to me, it was like, ugh, it was just too much, you know, it just, I know I'm not even giving it to him. Um, because I don't think he no longer he no longer has a PO box um, with 25 million subscribers or more now. Um, there's no way he can have a PO box anymore. He stopped that a long time ago because uh, he's got too much mail, way too much, and he couldn't he couldn't control it, you know. So, which is beautiful, and wonderful, but it would have been cool if I had a place to send these because I would have, I absolutely would have. Uh, maybe I could find a way to do it still, but I don't think there is anymore. But anyway, funny story. So I have to make a correction. Um, like I said, you know, he has a second channel called Unis Honest. And for the past two videos, I have been spelling it wrong. And I have been saying Unis Anus. And I am so sorry. I watched a video for someone else yesterday, kind of... I'm not even going to mention their name, whatever. Kind of like dragging Mark down and Ethan and his channel. And I, me being a, a super fan of Mark, I immediately thumbs down that video. But then I realized that, oh my, like, because he said, what is this, this channel called Unis Anus? You know, and then I said, oh my God, I've been spelling it wrong, I'm an idiot. So it's Unis, U N U S. Anus, A N N U S. So I am so sorry. Um, I just was laughing my butt off yesterday about that. I just made such a mistake. I mean, like me being a fan, right? But you know, I spelled it wrong. My bad. 
So sorry, but at least I got a laugh out of it. Anyway, all right, so today, so this is done. I, I like I said, I, I did attach it. I think it's, you know, really cool. And that's, that project is done. That section of the project is done. So today we're going to be just attaching the M. I have my hot glue gun. It's not plugged in yet, so I'm going to go off and plug that in. I don't want it to start dripping with the glue and all that. I'm going to go plug that in, let that heat up for a couple of minutes. Um, we're going to put, first we're going to do is put the bling on here. Then we're going to attach this and then we're going to do the um, stencil. Now I saw on Smart Art Materials that um, Olga had used a little, I don't know if this is the exact thing she had used, but she used like a gloss medium, and this is a gloss medium, um, before actually painting her stencil. So this is dry now. Yeah, it's pretty dry, but it's supposed to give you a little sharper edge. I never did that before, uh, but also, you know, painting, painting on paint, uh, you know, maybe it would actually help, and that probably would have helped me with my rat stencils. I wish I would have seen that because it did the edges of when I did the uh, Lunar New Year rat uh, stencils, it could have been sharper. So, thank you, Olga, for um, that little tip. And then the colors we're going to use because the um, mustache is pink. I'm going to take my favorite color, neon pink. And we're gonna use a little metallic white. This is the artist loft. They're both artist loft. And just we're just gonna paint this guy in. Okay? So that is what we're doing today. Nothing crazy. And I will see you in a couple minutes. I'm gonna go heat up my glue gun. Alright guys? Alright, I'll see you back in a second. guys I am back so my um, glue gun is plugged in and we're gonna do this first so I am going to move this out of the way for a sec and just put that over there and we'll bring back up in a minute so that way I gotta stick that there and I don't know if this is gonna need any um, I'm just gonna oh, no, this is pretty sticky I don't even remember where I got this. Oh, I think I know. It was in my local, um, I have this stationery slash art supply store literally a block away from my house. They're just like ultra expensive. So unless I need something desperately, you know, um, so we're going to do something like that. Let's see if that works. Let's adjust it a little. Yeah, and the whole thing is obviously not going to, hold on, it's not perfectly aligned here, sorry, alright, there we go, I think that's a little better, okay, I'll just adjust this side, yeah, I thought that was kind of not funny just sometimes things just work out I couldn't find an M and I've had to find a W and I had to use a W upside down I was like okay that'll work but it worked as a W so um, for Wilford so I represented you know his famous character and the M for Mark all right now it's not gonna it's gonna be you know sticking out on that edge and that's fine I think that's pretty cool there you go just a ooh I like the way that shines in the in the camera so that's simple you know just a little sticker I don't think it's perfectly on but you know what it's gonna be what it is all right so so let's bring up the painting and we are going to add now, okay, 
that on there. Let's claim two. So this is dry, obviously. Kind of eyeball it. I didn't measure it. I didn't make any marks or anything like that. Um, you know, I'm not that type of girl <laughs> to do things absolutely perfectly. I kind of like to eyeball it. I think that looks pretty okay. Let's see. I think that looks good. And the mustache is kind of centered in between. You know, I'm just like I said, I'm eyeballing, eyeballing it. All right, so let's see if we can get back to, I kind of tested it out yesterday. So that's why you see a little paint on the back here when it was a little, still a little tacky. But, and I can always adjust that sticker later once it's on, you know, because it's removable. And then once I get it right, maybe I'll just add a couple of dots of um, a hot glue to the sticker. But I think it's pretty sticky enough. And that should be more than enough. Glue. Please don't drop it now. I should have left a little section so I'm going to get hot glue on my fingers, which I just did. <laughs> yep. Hold on. Alright. Let's see. Okay. It's about right. Actually, I should have put the W on afterwards, but it's alright. So I can see what I'm doing. So now, I am just going to add a little bit around the edges. And that's what I did with like all my chakra paintings as well. To make sure that they are stuck down. I... Um, just add a little, went, like, went around the whole, all those little canvas panels. And, and that's what also what I did with the, uh, the space painting for Mark. I um, just went around the edges as well to make sure it stayed. And if you get the little threads of glue, it's fine. Don't freak out about it. Because once it, it, it dries almost immediately, once the glue gets cold, it just, you know, and I'm sure many, many of you have used the glue gun before, you know that, so I'm not telling you anything you don't know. All right. So I got a couple of threads of that glue and it's, it's off already. Okay. So that is on there. All right. Now, I will be, give me one second, I just want to unplug my glue gun, because I do not want to just let the, all the glue drip down. I will be back in two seconds, guys, okay? Sorry about that. So I am back. All right, so I just unplugged my glue gun real quick, and I actually just readjusted slightly, and now it seems to be okay. I'm just pressing down. Thank you, sir, for beeping in my house. Well, what can you do? All right, so now I'm going to take some Artist Love Neon Pink. I'm just going to put it literally right on my, um, I'm trying to play too much paint, right on my silicone mat, because why not? And do I have any left? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was funny. All righty. And like I said, I never tried this before. Um, using this before a, um, a stencil. I thought that was pretty cool. I saw it just came upon this way too much paint, but it's all right. Um, why is my brush hard? Okay. I washed it last night. All right. I just, I wanted the neon pink, but I also wanted just a little bit more muted. So that's why. I added the metallic white. I thought the metallic white would be nice. Wow, that's way too much paint. It's okay. I'd rather always have more than less. I mean, maybe, who knows? So I'm just gonna mix the whole thing up. Because why not? Can you see that? Yes, you can. Yeah, I just thought that was hysterical. I'm sorry to bring it up again, that I just, just totally spelled their channel wrong. And I'm like, oh, 
oh no, everyone's going to think that's the name of their channel and I'm trying to be funny. I said, no, I spelled the channel wrong. Okay, I think that is good enough. All right, let me wipe off some of that and let me just... All right, so let's get a going. So hopefully, I may need a couple of coats because of the black. So I may have to come back later and do another coat or do it on my own and then show you the end <clears throat> result. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. So this whole project um, and video was, it was a lot of fun. It was actually the, especially the first video was a lot of work. Um, yeah, just like, you know, a lot of editing and, but that was, it was a great experience. Um, yeah, I like doing that for him. Um, I watch, I watch a lot of Markiplier, I really do. So it is well deserved. Um, to do this for him and I watch the next if you don't know who Jack Jacksepticeye is he'll be next up but I think I'm going to do that in March which is right around the bend not necessarily on St. Paddy's Day I thought it would be cute to do it in the March in the month of St. Paddy's Day but if you don't know who Jack Jacksepticeye is he is another YouTuber who is a very, very hard worker. Oh my goodness. Um, but anyway, when I do his, I will explain more about him, but he got a shout out. Jack Septic guy, his real name was Sean McLaughlin. Um, he got a shout out from PewDiePie many years ago uh, when he first started his channel. And yes, it helped his channel, but there's a reason why PewDiePie actually shouted him out. Because PewDiePie used to do shout outs of channels, and obviously they blew up from that because uh, his influence is so great. I mean, PewDiePie has over a hundred million subscribers. You may or may not like him, but you know, I watch him too. And as a matter of fact, PewDiePie is the first YouTuber I ever watched, and that's how I found Mark and Jack. Okay, because they're in the same genre of uh, YouTuber, like gaming, even though PewDiePie doesn't really do a lot of gaming anymore, um, which is fine because people's, you know, people's ch uh, channels change and what they want to do on it changes sometimes. And you should be able to evolve as a channel, as a person. So anyway, yeah, Jack wound up getting a shout out from PewDiePie, not, and, and and that is one of the reasons why Jack blew up, Jacksepticeye, but it's because his channel was so great, is great, and he's such a hard worker and he really deserved it. So it's, that's one of the reasons why his channel blew up. That is not the only reason, the, only, the, the main reason why he has a great channel and he has a great personality. And he really grew as a person as well. So did Mark. Uh, some of his earlier videos are kind of cringy, but I think, you know, I'll look back at this and go, oh my god. I even look back at my own videos, which is only like six months ago, and I'm like, ugh, I cringe, so, yeah. You know, you sometimes cringe at your old self. Alright, so I'm going to give this a few minutes to dry. I think it needs one more coat, and... You know, pretty much this is done, and I will be back once um, this is dry. I'm going to do another coat, and I'm going to show you the big reveal with both of them together. Okay, guys? All right, I'll see you in a sec. Hey, guys, I am back. So what I did was, I didn't let it dry that much. Um, I just had the idea of actually using, see, look at all that paint. And to make it like an, I don't have a pasto paste, like to really make it thick like that, but the paint is pretty thick. Obviously, it's not a pouring medium because I, I'm not pouring right now. To kind of make it look like a fluffy mustache, to kind of give those little peaks there. All right. And that's what I did. I didn't really let it dry, just like a couple of minutes. 
So let's see how well this came up. Slowly, Marisa. And it's stuck, kind of beautiful. Wow, that came out really great. There's a little bit, I have to clean up on the edge. As you can see, it took those ridiculous nails off. I like putting them on sometimes just for fun. But I figured today, let me take them off because this is what I'm doing. And I just got paint on my shirt. All right. So that is that. So that is done. It came out real. Let me just bring that up a little bit so you can see my beautiful, beautiful pink Wolford Wharf stash mustache. So I am going to bring up the other paint. I'm going to clear all this off. Okay. And I'm going to show you the two paintings together. And this series is done already. And, you know, I'm going to do some, I have a totally different idea for Jack. Um, yeah, I'm going to save that uh, idea uh, for when I actually do it next month. And until then, I'm going to be doing, obviously, other things. And, all right, so let's get going. I'm just going to clear all this off, and I will be back in a minute. And we'll do the big reveal and say one last thank you to Mark. Okay, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. So this is what it looks like all together. I <laughs> think it's so cute. And you know, I just thought about that the oval is kind of like a like the shape more of a face, and I really wasn't thinking about that at the time. I think it's a little crooked, but it's all good. Um, you know, I guess I'm not a perfectionist. But here are the two paintings together for Markiplier. I am so happy. And that I was able to do this, that I have, you know, a platform in which I can finally really say thank you to him. I mean, again, will he ever see these videos? Who knows? Um, it's one in a million chance, but it really doesn't matter. This is just like my energy going out to him. Uh, just an appreciation for his channel, for all his hard work for all of the money he's raised just for the years and years and years of making me laugh and you know just entertaining me and um it's it's actually kind of cool to be able to have a voice to say thank you so you know you never know he may see this one day but um that is really not the point of it the point of it is to create and just to put my energy out there in appreciation for someone that I watch a lot. So, um, anyway guys, this is the big reveal. This is both paintings together. I actually really like this now. I re I'm so happy I changed my mind because I think this looks pretty cool. I just love now that piece with it. Um, I didn't think it would go, but this actually works for me and here's this guy this is adorable I just love this little project and that's it guys so thank you so so much for watching today thank you for all your comments and all your support I am in deep appreciation of you guys as well thank you so much I am almost at 400 subscribers just a, little, a few more to go and I really appreciate it. So, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. You can follow me on social media. My links are below. If you would like to support me as well and send me a donation, um, all any donations would absolutely go back into buying art supplies so I can continue to make uh, these really cool projects. Okay, and thank you so much, so much, guys, for watching today, and I will see you in the next one. Let's all say a big thank you to Markiplier. Thanks, Mark. All right, guys, and thank you. Bye.